Every time I see a report like this, I think this could be so much better. And you know what? It doesn't take hours. Just a few small tweaks can transform this mediocre report into a professional masterpiece. Stick with me and by the end you'll be amazed by the transformation. This report, I found it on GitHub, updated on October 1st, 2024. It's packed with beginner mistakes, perfect for us to learn from. Want to follow along? The link is in the description box below. Now let's dive into Power BI Desktop and start fixing them step by step. First, let's tackle the alignment, or the lack of it. Look at these visuals, they're all over the place. It's like trying to frame a picture and every edge is crooked. Here's how to fix it. Drag and snap the edges of each visual so they align perfectly. Instantly, your report looks polished and professional. It's such a small effort for such a big impact. But it changes nothing if we don't tackle the next problem. Uneven white space. Here is a pro tip. Create a 20 by 20 pixel square and use it as a guide. Copy it across the canvas to measure consistent spacing between visuals. If you need any of the spaces to be evenly distributed, then you need to select the shapes and go to Format, Align, and then distribute horizontally or vertically. When you're done aligning everything, just delete the placeholders. Simple, right? This step takes minutes, but makes such a big difference. So let's recap. So far, we've changed the alignment and we've made sure that this white space is even across the board. You might have noticed that I've not changed the filters area, but that is something that we will fix later because we have many more mistakes to fix before that. Here's another rookie mistake. Too many visuals. Do we need this KPI box stating the obvious? Or this button visual which draws attention away from what really matters? And why two line charts showing the same thing? Not to mention the five individual KPI cards that could be a group card. By trimming the unnecessary visuals, you guide your audience to focus on what truly matters. Bonus tip, I've added the field parameter to this report. It lets users toggle between daily and monthly trends in the line chart, perfect for customizing their view. Focus and flexibility, that's how you keep your report user-friendly. Which leads us to the next issue. Let's talk colors. Right now, this report is overwhelming. Instead, let's go minimalist. Start by removing the background image. Switch to a light gray background. And for the visual, add a subtle gray border and stick to dark test. Trust me, these subtle changes make your data pop while keeping it professional. So far, we've dealt with the visual side of the report. We aligned everything. We made sure the white space is even. We removed the unnecessary visuals and we change the default color scheme. But this is useless if we don't fix the real problem in the substance of the report. And we'll start that by improving the storytelling. Here's a quick storytelling hack. Position the visual in the natural order people read a report, from the top left to the bottom right. Rearrange the visual with this in mind and your report will instantly feel more intuitive. Does this new layout flow better? Let me know in the comments. But just because we have the layout right, it doesn't mean we have the right visuals. Let's fix some visual blunders. The choice of visuals is poor and some of them need to be replaced. This donut chart. It's cluttered and hard to read. Replace it with a stacked bar chart for clarity. This color plot. What is even trying to say? Spoiler alert. Nothing useful. Use a bar chart with subcategories instead. And why repeat categories three times? Let's change this table to display products and remove redundant fields like previous year's sales and profit. Let's rearrange the visuals, making sure that they align perfectly and that the white space is even. Smart visuals equal better storytelling. But if you use visuals just for the sake of using them, you will lose so much space which you could use in a better way. Earlier, I promised I will address this filter area here which takes too much space. Let's modernize it with a collapsible filter button. Create a blank button label filters. Group all the slices except the year in the selection pane and rename it to filters. 
Open the bookmark page, add a new bookmark and rename it to Dashboard. Click on the three dots and deselect data as you don't want to save the current filters. Then click on the eye next to the filters group to hide it from the current bookmark and for good measure update the bookmark again. Then turn the filters group visible again and add a new bookmark that will be named as filters. Next up add two shapes to the bottom of the filters group. One will cover the whole canvas and will have a grey colour with a 75% transparency and the other will stand between the grey shape and the filters and will have a white fill. Select the grey shape, turn on the action, change type to bookmark and select the dashboard bookmark. Now select the filters button and repeat the same steps and select the filters bookmark. Next let's rearrange the visual and use the newly created space. This trick not only cleans your report but gives it a clean modern look. What do you think? Better right? But there's still work to be done. Inconsistency is a common mistake. The KPIs in the original report had different decimal places. Standardizing to two decimal places ensures uniformity. I've realized that I've not included this step in the recording until it was too late but nonetheless this is one of the most common mistakes that beginners make and it's so easy to fix. Little details like this one show that you care about quality. Here's the before. Cluttered, misaligned and overwhelming. And here's the after. Clean, professional and impactful. What a difference, right? But we're not stopping here. I've added the background image and refined the color scheme. This looks even better, right? Let me know what you think in the comments. You can go even further and include a dynamic KPI visual with a spark light. Want to learn how to create it? Check this video where I'll guide you step by step. This was a fun transformation and now is your turn. Download the report and try it yourself and let me know in the comment how it goes. If you found this useful, don't forget to like, subscribe and share this with someone who needs to see it. Until next time, this is Telian signing off. Cheerio!